Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about very interesting and uh, I know it's going to be very useful for the freshers who are looking for Oracle DBA and those who want to start their career as a Oracle DBA. So we are going to discuss about what are all applications, what are all softwares that we used as a Oracle DBA in the real time production environment. So the first software which you might have heard that we called it as a PuTTY. So PuTTY is one software which can be useful whenever you want to connect to the Linux server. So along with the PuTTY there is another option is also there we called it as a Mobex Tam. But Mobex Tam is not open source uh, which is again one company you need to take the license to use the Mobex Tam. But PuTTY is something which is open source so most of the projects where you will find the Linux these people are using the Linux so it's not related to the only Oracle DBA whenever you want to connect to the Linux because your database will be on the top of Linux only so that time we are using this PuTTY software and where uh, we need to save the password and we need more functionality that time some projects are going with the Mobex term also so that is the first application Second thing that you will be useful, we called it as a WinSCP. Now, what is this WinSCP? WinSCP is useful to move the data from your Windows machine to Linux machine. Let's say you downloaded one software, which is your Oracle software, and you want to move that software from Windows to Linux. For that, we are using this WinSCP. Third software, which you will use as a Oracle DBA, we called it as a SQL developer. Now, what is this tool? So when you want to connect to the, as a DBA, what you will do, uh, if you want to check the database status, if you want to fire a query on the table, we can use our PuTTY, we can see the data, but there are some restrictions with the PuTTY. What is that restriction is like, if you want to see thousands of record with 50 columns, it's not able to see that, you will not be able to see into the proper format on PuTTY. Uh, otherwise you need to write it into the some uh, maybe one of the log file and there you can see that so instead of that there are applications teams where they don't have access to the putty what they will do they will use the sql developer tool and by using the sql developer they can have their graphical user interface they can connect to the database they can fire commands queries on the table and they can fetch the data so whatever queries they want to fire they can just use the sql developer which is kind of very easy to use again it's an open source tool few projects are also using toad and toad is also optional for the sql developer but again toad is a commercial if you want to use for your business purpose you need to take the license for that next thing that you will use as a oracle dba uh, in the real time we called it as a ticketing tool in your applic in your oracle dba project there may be uh, we can use some ticketing tool also like your bmc remedy service now there are other ticketing tools are also there this ticketing tool is useful to check like how many tickets you got how many tickets you resolved basically for sla purpose so it makes your life very easy to understand that how many problems you got it how many you have resolved within the sla and accordingly your company will charge to the client they have some sort of agreement saying that if i am getting 100 tickets you should resolve at least 90 tickets so there should be some sort of agreement will be there in your, in between your company and the client it's just an example okay so that can be tracked with the help of ticketing tool so whenever you are calling to the customer care usually they give you some reference number right so that reference number will be generated with the help of ticketing tool only another thing which i want to add here it's not application it's like you know when you are saying that you are supporting to the 1000 database servers or 1000 databases normally we maintain one of the application list okay? normally we maintain the database list which will have one it can be your excel sheet or it can be any web application which will have all the information related to the databases and the server every information like whether it is a production development databases all those information about each and every server and each and every database which is hosted on that server will be available there so if you get any error message you just need to copy the host name and you will see all the details related to the database versions 
whether it is a production development taste whatever it is you'll find it over there so these are the some real time applications utilities that you are using as a oracle dba and you will find it so you should be prepared with this sort of applications and ap apart from this you know i also used to talk about oem also which is your monitoring tool so whenever you want to monitor multiple databases thousands of databases manually you cannot monitor that so you will have one application called oem oracle enterprise manager through which you can monitor your databases so if one of the database goes down or something went wrong with that oracle database server you will get a notification with over the email and then you will start working on it so i hope this is going to be really helpful for you if you are looking for oracle database training please contact me my details are there in the description section please do like subscribe and share